Hey, what's up everyone? So, what if I told you you can get to Midtown Manhattan for only $2.75 from JFK Airport? I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. I'm here inside uh, the airport's largest passenger terminal, Terminal 8. Now, uh, of course, this isn't the only way to get to Manhattan. There's uh, other ways like ordering a Uber, which is uh, $72 and you have to give a tip. But yeah, that's uh, probably the most convenient option, but it's expensive. There's also using the air train to public transportation, which is recommended by many uh, websites and guides, and that is very good too. It actually gets you to uh, Midtown pretty quickly, and it avoids a lot of traffic since it's all on trains. But this route that I'm going to show you is a combination of a bus and a subway for $275. With the air train, if you take the air train to the subway, the air train fee is $7.75, and you have to transfer to the subway, which is $2.75. That's a $10.50 um, trip. Now you can also take the Long Island Railroad from the air train and depending on what time of day and what day you ride the uh, Long Island Railroad, there are different fares. So um, normally, the Long Island Railroad has different fare structures based on the time of day that you travel. They have peak tickets and off-peak tickets. And uh, the way they calculate the uh, peak fare and the off-peak fare is uh, kind of confusing. Peak fares are charged during bus business rush hours on any weekday train scheduled to arrive in New York City terminals between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m or depart New York City terminals between 4 uh, p.m. and 8 p.m. And off-peak fares are all other times on weekdays and on weekends and holidays. There's also the city ticket, which is uh, only valid on Saturdays and Sundays for $4.50 for travel only within New York City. Since John F. Kennedy and Penn Station are both in New York City, that's a $4.50 fare if you can get it on the weekends. And that's the cheapest Long Island Railroad ticket. So it's uh, $4.50 plus 275. That's uh no wait. My bad. It's uh 450 plus 775. 775 is the air train fee. That's uh $12.50. And the uh off-peak fare is $7.75. Add another $7.75 for the air train and that's $15.50. And the peak ticket is $10.75. Add $7.75 for the air train and that's $18.50. So that's the most you're gonna pay for public transportation is $18.50. And from, from my knowledge, I don't think there's a uh, like a shuttle bus that comes over here to JFK from Midtown, unless your hotel offers it. I've never seen it off, uh, advertised before, direct bus from Midtown. But yeah, let's finally get started after all that explanation with the different fares and uh, car services. I hope I didn't confuse you. But doing it this way is the cheapest option. Uh, oh, here's the escalator. So you can save at least like seven, eight bucks doing this method at the minimum. But if you're doing this method, I have to warn you, make sure you allocate a lot of time because uh, if you value your time, this is going to take a while to uh, get to Midtown, especially because the New York City subway is prone to delays as well as um, the buses. The buses, they get stuck in traffic with the uh, Long Island Railroad and the air train. 
that's uh, less prone to get stuck in traffic and delays. So uh, ground transportation is downstairs here. This is where you go to get your Ubers and your car services. And we need to follow the signs to the air train. And the Port Authority that runs the uh, airport, they don't want to make it easy for people to take the public buses for some reason. And uh, all the public buses, they stop at only Terminal 5. So you need to take the air train to Terminal 5 to get the bus. And you may think, wait, if we're taking the air train, doesn't that mean we have to pay? And the trick is, the air train is free to ride unless you get off at the Howard Beach station or the Jamaica station. So we can ride it to all the different airline terminals without paying. It's completely for free. And uh, this is going to be even more confusing because I just found an article here. And this article, it says that the MTA is going to change the bus routes. And uh, starting March 27th, the uh, buses won't stop at Terminal 5 anymore. They're only going to stop at the Lefferts Boulevard. Um, station where the air train goes but you can still take the air train to the Lefferts Boulevard air train station for all these buses March 27th where are you where are you going it doesn't go to the, the air train doesn't go to the A train anymore no it, it does oh, okay. yeah it goes to uh, Howard Beach station and Jamaica the last stop This is just for the public buses. And uh, only the Q3 bus will stop at the airport, at Terminal 6 only. But the Q3 bus, um, I believe it takes you away from uh, where you need to go. It takes a longer route to get to Jamaica, so you don't want to take that bus. We're going to be taking the Q10 bus from uh, Terminal 5. There's uh, three buses that serve the airport, the Q10, the B15, and the Q3. The uh, Q10 and the B15 are the most direct. And uh, the Q10, it serves uh, three different subway lines, the A train at Ozone Park, Lefferts Avenue, um, I mean Lefferts Boulevard, uh, 121st Street at Jamaica Avenue on the J and Z, and also Q Gardens Union Turnpike, which serves the uh, E and F train. Now, uh, the J and Z station is not very convenient at all to get to Midtown. It takes you much longer. If you're going to uh, Lower Manhattan, it's advisable for you to take the Q10 to the Ozone Park station and then transfer to the A. It's much faster. But Midtown Manhattan, you want to take the Q10 to the last stop at Q Gardens and then transfer to the E or F. Both will take you to Midtown Manhattan. You just got to figure out which line is closer to your destination. And you can also take the B15 to the A train as well at uh, North Conduit Avenue Station. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. There's two different air trains. The one on the uh, on this side over here. Okay, there's, there's two different sides of the air train. This side over here goes towards the Howard Beach and Jamaica stations. And then this air train over here only serves the airline terminals. You can see the uh, route map. It just goes in a loop, eight, seven, five, four, two, one, and then it starts over again. And then uh, over here, you see the next stop is Federal Circle. And then depending on the air train you get, it'll serve either Jamaica, and then the other one will be Lefferts Boulevard, the and then Howard Beach. Is a 
Tower Beach Trains Company and Federal Circle for hotel shuttles and rental cars, Leopards Boulevard and Howard Beach for long-term parking, with connections to the a -type. Please take your belongings. I also um, have to bring this up because I just thought of the payments. So uh, New York City buses, they use a form of payment called the Metro card. And uh, the Port Authority has made it very hard to get a Metro card within the airport. In fact, there are no vending machines for the Metro card. If you want to get a, met a vending machine for the Metro card, you'll need to take this air train to either Jamaica or Howard Beach where there's Metro card vending machines. And there's also a uh, $1 fee for a new Metro card. You can also buy a Metro card at some of these newsstands in the airport terminals, but they're a little bit hard to find and I don't even know where they are to begin with. But, but the MTA in, um, introduced a contactless fare option where you can just tap your credit card or your Apple Watch or your iPhone even if you have it set up for transit and pay through your phone or tap to go. So you don't have to worry about looking for these Metro card machines. The system's called uh, Omni and I think it's going to be completely rolled out within like two years from now but right now um, all the bus um, bus lines and the subway lines they take the contactless payment you also get a free transfer between bus and subway and subway and bus within uh, two hours of using your first um, fare and it only works once so you can't take a subway and then two buses or two buses and then the subway and you also can't transfer subway to subway unless it's um, within the MTA's like official transfers you need the to be at a transfer station for all airline terminals and all or where they make lines. the announcement that you can Please take your belongings. so I need to take it two stops to Terminal 5, and then we'll be able to take the Q10 bus to Q Gardens Union Turnpike for a subway to Midtown Manhattan. This air train actually runs pretty frequently. See, we can uh, go this to the front. It's a much better view. Be I've also done a video where you can take this air train to Jamaica Station and then I transfer to the subway. But I actually don't Fear recommend that method Please your belonging. since uh, that subway station can be a little bit uh, unsettling at times. And here I'll buy a new Metro car just to show you or attempt to buy one anyway. Unless you want somebody to break that shit, everybody don't want Okay. Alright, so I'm going to enter the subway system now. Alright. And back when I did that video, the air train fee was only $5. Now it's gone up to $7.75.
If you were to go to Jamaica Station, I'd much rather people take the uh, Long Island Railroad compared to the subway. This train was for airline terminal This is where we need to get off. And once again, this is the only terminal in the airport that has the buses. This train attraction is for airline terminals. Okay, let's go this way. We gotta go up. And again, starting from March 27th and for however long that construction is going to take for uh, Terminal 6, the buses are only going to be stopping at the Lefferts Boulevard station. So you need to take the Lefferts Boulevard air train to that station to get all these buses. Like I said, they really don't want to make it easy to take these buses. Alright, so here we go, elevator to MTA bus. We have a moving walkway, save some time. sometimes stressful. Many of these airports are located away from the city center. They take a while to get to. You also got to be on time to make sure you don't miss your flights. So here's the elevator to the public buses and the taxis. We got to call the elevator and go down. And there are the buses down there. I think you can see them. You see here level three, two, and one. We gotta go to one. New York City buses and taxis. Once again, if you don't have a Metro card, it's gonna be uh, quite troubling for you to pay the fare or even get on these buses. But since they have this tap to go system, it's much more uh, easier. It's much easier. Otherwise, you gotta go around the airport and look for one of these newsstands that sell the Metro card. All right. So down there's the uh, TWA Hotel. It's an iconic uh, hotel. It used to be in the old uh, TWA terminal. It's a defunct airline. All right. So we have several different buses. This one, the B15, will go towards uh, Bedford Stuyvesant in Brooklyn. You could also take the B15 bus to the nearest subway station, which is uh, North Conduit Avenue on the A train. And that will go uh, towards Manhattan as well. It's also a convenient option if you need to get to lower Manhattan. But if you're going to Midtown, the Q10 is the best way. I would even argue that the Q10 is the best 
um, for lower Manhattan as well since it also serves the A train but in a different branch. So here's the Q3. The Q3 will serve uh, Eastern Queens and takes a longer route to Jamaica. But I wouldn't recommend the Q3. It takes a long time. Well, that's the Q10 bus now. I'm not sure if it's going to pick anybody up or it just left without me. But we'll find out when the next bus comes, I guess, whenever it does. Here it is, Q10 and Q10 Limited to Q Gardens. The Limited bus is a limited stop bus. It won't stop at every stop, so uh, your trip should be shorter. Once again, if you're taking this route, make sure to give yourself a lot of time because this route is not fast. And I'm sure that uh, many tourists who spend hundreds of dollars on a flight with luggage will want to deal with this when they come to New York. Extra delays with the uh, New York City bus system and subway, and then getting off the air train coming down here. It's a big hassle. And um, I had a little bit of a similar experience with Newark Liberty Airport, which is uh, one of the three major airports that also serve uh, the New York City area, the other one being LaGuardia. And with the Newark Airport, I took public transportation to go back to New York City too. I had uh, a lot of delays with their air train system. It took me like, 50 minutes just to get out of the airport with their air train because uh, there was a service change and the announcements weren't clear. But here I am in JFK airport. It's been uh, almost 25 minutes now and we're still not out of the airport. A lot of hassle for sure, dealing with uh, public transportation. Of course, if you're taking a car service, a taxi, and you have multiple people, if you split the fare, it may be more cost effective.
That's the uh, B15 bus to bed -Stuy. I wonder if it's faster to take that bus to the nearest subway station and then take the A train to Midtown. Then again, it looks like this bus here is starting up. This one might be the Q10. Yes, it is. Now, this isn't the limited stop bus, but I don't have the patience to wait for the limited stop bus now. I don't know when it's going to start up. And to be honest, the bus gets stuck in traffic anyway. So I'm just going to take this one. Either bus gets you to the subway station. Here's the bus. Oh, I guess it's passing by here. Well, I forgot you can also pay with coins here, but to be honest, not many people are gonna be carrying that amount of change, $2.75. So if you're able to tap and pay, you can do it right there. Otherwise, if you have a metric card, just dip it into the fare box like that. view on the left side. So let's see how long this bus takes to uh, get to the subway station and then from there we got to take the subway. Once you get to the subway, you gotta make sure you get on the right uh, right train. You gotta make sure that it goes the way you need to go. The E and F both serve Midtown, but you gotta find out what street your hotel is or your accommodations, and then take the appropriate train. The E train will uh, run along 53rd Street until it hits 8th Avenue, and then it'll run along 8th Avenue. The uh, F will run along 63rd Street, and then uh, on 57th Street, it runs along 6th Avenue.
one thing to note is that the uh, these public buses do not have luggage racks. So you kind of have to hold your luggage in the aisles if you bring luggage on. Oh, there's the air train. It's on Lefferts Boulevard. is stopping here because uh, the bus doesn't only just serve like the local streets outside the airport but within the airport as well these stops are mainly for the people who work here at the airport like the cargo areas and uh, administration buildings Stop over here is for building 14 Port Authority administration. So I forgot to mention, this bus runs through seven neighborhoods in the borough of Queens. The neighborhoods are uh, South Ozone Park, South Richmond Hill, Richmond Hill, and Kew Gardens.
actually, since uh, this is the Q10 local bus, we didn't even go to the Lefferts Boulevard uh, air train station. The Q10 local takes a different route than the Limited. like an industrial area we're going through. Sanitation garage. This road coming up is the South Conduit Avenue and on the other side of the highway is the North Conduit Avenue. It's a very busy road. The benefits with the uh, air train is that you get into the subway much quicker. Doesn't have to stop at all these stops and uh, traffic lights.
I hope that you saw the doctor. Maybe. And having a rest. There's a rock away boulevard. Making a turn here. And then this bus will uh, catch up to Leftist Boulevard, where it will run the entire rest of the way to Kew Gardens. Here's Leffers Boulevard. The bus will be making a right turn here and we'll stay on the street pretty much until the end.
bus is actually going at a pretty good speed, despite it being a local bus. There's a lot of great Caribbean uh, food around here. And a few blocks north of here, we'll enter another part of uh, the Ozone Park area known as Little Guyana. The main stretch of Little Guyana is along um, Liberty Avenue. That's where the A-Train subway station is. So this is the uh, Liberty Avenue station where you get the A train up there. The bus stop is actually on this side but the bus can't pull over because there's a car like blocking it. But if you want to take the bus to the airport from that train station you get it from here.
past the J and Z uh, subway up there. Closest subway station is 121st Street. But that uh, is a big detour from where we need to go. This train goes to Manhattan as well, but it snakes through uh, Queens and Brooklyn and it goes to Lower Manhattan. So far, I haven't even seen a Q10 Limited bus pass us yet, unless I missed it. Actually, I think there's one in front of us.
is the main part of Kew Gardens. Really nice neighborhood and community. There's also a uh, Long Island Railroad Station down there. But uh, the trains don't really serve that station too frequently. You're much better off taking this bus to the last stop and then taking the subway. People are waiting to get on the bus. I need to go this way. Wow, long queue for the bus. And the subway is over here. So we'll take whatever train comes first, the E or the F. Once again, um, you need to find out where you're staying, so you take the right train that's closest to where you're staying. If it's the E train, I'll get off at the 7th Avenue and 53rd Street Station. And if it's the F, I'll get off at 57th Street and 6th Avenue. Sounds like a train's already about to leave. All right, so uh, you can either tap to pay over here, you get a free transfer if you use it on the bus, or swipe your metric card if you've got one like me, also a free transfer.
There's also an elevator in front of me if you need to use it. I don't know uh, what train is going to come next. Alright, looks like it's the F train. So we'll take it to 57th Street and 6th Avenue. It's an express train after uh, 71st Avenue. So we won't have to wait too long. taking the E train, it won't stop here unless it's um, like a late night or other times where it's supposed to stop here, but normally it doesn't.
Market in the Brooklyn Valley at the local train. The next stop is 57th Street. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Long time though. About an hour and 40 minutes. subway station was recently renovated. And here we are in Midtown Manhattan. On 6th Avenue and 56th Streets. I want to thank all of you for watching this video all the way from John F. Kennedy Airport, then the bus, and then the subway for $275. We got here. Took a while, but saved a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.